Driving northbound from I-5 to Interstate 90, you cannot not see it. A growing homeless camp near Jose Rizal Park. What's home to some is an eyesore to many. A lot of the people that live out here have uh, mental issues or drug addiction issues and such, so they aren't able to um, take care of their, themselves or their area as well as some other people might be able to. Chris Erickson takes pride in the home he built out of wooden crates. He keeps his area swept and makes sure to pick up garbage around him. I feel like I'd probably get a little bit more respect because of it. His efforts and the efforts of some others convinced the city to allow them to stay. But he sees the situation going downhill. So, there have been a, quite a few fires over the last couple of months. Tuesday night was one of those times. What did you see? I see that smoke and the fire come up. So I come over there. Get a fire down. King Five's yeah. Ryan Takeo and photographer Dustin Gagne arrived before the firefighters did. They found one encampment up in flames near trees, a fence line, and other homeless campsites. Listen to the warning the firefighter tells our photographer. Watch for sharps in here, okay? Needles? You wouldn't bend down, okay? Daylight the next day shows the burnt trash and debris left behind. And nearby, another unattended burning grill. The city says this is just one of 400 unsanctioned homeless encampments in Seattle. Staffers have conducted outreach to the people here 25 times in the last year, making 150 contacts with people. Only 15 of them have accepted services. With the camp spread out over several tiers of the hillside, the city's biggest concern is how inaccessible it is for emergency responders. But for now, the encampment along the freeway can stay. In Seattle, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.